بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ربي اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقهوا قولي ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما الحمد لله والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ladies and gentlemen first i'd like to thank allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for creating us as human beings for creating us especially as the ummah of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and for showing us the path of guidance to the light of the quran Then I like to thank my parents, my teachers, my well wishers for supporting me in every turns, in every cross, in any every troughs. And I also like to thank I also like to thank Rise Ramal Pindi for organizing this event. So I have a talk. I like to thank them for also calling me up to this stage to have a talk with the future of the nation. which i believe will make this country proud and make this country shine and we will make this country rise first of all i just want to say that as we know now when i came to rise up in india i just had a new perspective i mean when i seen all the i mean expose all the projects and i like it very much because i see many things like hydraulic pressure pascal's law and i also see many other talents like art and craft i also saw calligraphy i also saw that how the 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 models of the heart the models of the body and many other things are really so i really liked having a great time over here but when i see projects i think about i mean everybody of you who are here who have contributed to this project even those who haven't contributed because you all are i mean students who are also learning and i mean you want to be the future of the nation and whatever you want to do i mean you need to have something in your mind you need a goal you need a plan you need a blueprint so i just want to share that blueprint with you for a little bit of time i just want to say that whenever you want to achieve anything whatever you want to achieve whatever object you want to get to i know many of your dreams are you know like i mean you want to make this country proud and if you want to make i mean this country shine this country rise this country touch the sky i mean you need to first be really really i mean loyal to your mission and do not I mean, just give up on that mission. You need to continue with your studies. You need to work hard. You need to, I mean, not leave this mission which you have. I mean, this is a big mission. You need to, I mean, as we know, you should not let your country down, and that is very big thing. So that's why never give up, no matter how hard the troubles. I mean, listen over here. I mean, whenever you will do anything, you will have a lot of troubles, no matter how. Stall me the hands, darker the nights, repeat the failures. You need to press on because I mean, you need to just whatever you want to achieve, you want it by heart and you want to achieve it so madly. And if you want to achieve it, you never need to give up. You need to press by. You need to be productive to your mission, and you also need to be persistent to your mission. To do it again and again, and not to give up, no matter how hard or the failure, because you will be grinded. You will be. you will be under a big big trouble you should not ignore other people too because some people might say that you can't do this and it's just totally impossible i mean yes there are going to be people who come in your road and say no you can't do this this is too much too big for you it's too big dream smaller so you shouldn't dream smaller dream very very high i mean just dream to your full extent and then here's the thing don't be a dreamer don't be a complete dreamer do it too be a doer too dream to the sky and work to 
the universe. That is the principle. You need to dream less and work high. You might dream big, yes, but you need to work as much as big. The level of the dreaming is also, I mean, if you want something to do, you need to work hard for it. Nothing is served to you on a planet. So that's what I want to say to everybody. You need to work hard. You need to study hard. You need to, I mean, whatever you want to do, you need to do, you need to practice for it. You need to work hard for it. So do not leave hard working because you need to work very hard for it. And when you do that, I mean, I know how many troubles will come. Some people will say, dream smaller. Some people will say, you can't do this. Some people will say that, yes, it is It is too big for you. You, How will you do it, I mean? You're not in this time. But you should ignore that. And you should go ahead to your dream and take it. And again, you can't become a star in one night. Now, when you're listening to me, yes, you might get a little pumped up. You might get a little, I mean, motivated. But no, this is not anything. You are yourself's motivation. You can do whatever you want. And it's you who is going to inspire yourself to do big things. It is you who are going to work hard. It is your mission. And this day is just one day. You need to go and this is such a big journey. It's a journey that can go to years. So you are in the middle of this journey and you need to make this show that you need to complete this journey. I also want to say another thing. This is your story. You make it yourself. Nobody else makes it. You need to make the decisions. You need to know if you want to take risks, if you want to take gambles, or if you want to play it safe. It's your turn. It's your choice. So if you want to make a dream, there are two choices. Either you give up and you think I'm never going to achieve this dream. Or either you come up and reach the sky. And take that. And in the end, I want to say to another important thing. After you have all the things, or you have achieved all the things, I want to say that trust in your Lord. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He tells us that this earth is just a test. And yes, you might pass the earth test, but what about the day of judgment's test? Don't give up in the end about that. Don't turn back. And you need to reach that end of the tunnel. And why not reach it in a good way instead of a bad way? So that's why I want to say to trust in your Lord, to always pray and to always be a true Muslim, a productive Muslim. Because yes, we might enjoy the comforts of the modern life. I have no objection here. But what about in the, I mean, hereafter, which is going to last forever? Then this life will only last about 90 years, 80 years. But the hereafter, which lasts, like forever, which lasts for infinity. What are you going to say about that on that day? So please take this into consideration. This is a very important thing. I hope these words did really affect you, did really, I mean, I mean, change you and stop you from giving up. I might think that I'm just guessing over here, but yeah, there are some odds, I mean that it might be one in a 20 chance that somebody was about to give up right now and you just feel inspired. But after this ins inspiration, you need to do it yourself. So go and do it yourself. Go and chase your dream, go and get it. If you want something, then go get it. Nobody will help you on your journey. You have to go and get it. I hope this was very really informative for you. Thank you very much.